Forgive me, darling, but I must condemn you to an eternity of oblivion. After night will come day, after winter, spring. But the truth will remain unchanged. A man is a predictable, short-lived creature, and therefore, a weak one. Certainly you can come up with many excuses to justify what you're about to do. Whether it's jealousy, boredom, or arrogance, whatever pushes you to take the decisive step. From this very moment, you will never be free of fear. You might think that this path is the easiest one to take. But I'm all too familiar with darkness, so trust me when I say that in time, it will pull you in so deep, you'll have no other choice but to drown. You have made your decision, and you will pay for it. Now only time will tell if it's already too late for you, Vincent. The question is, what happens next? This is exactly what makes men so weak. In their fleeting vanity, they always seem to fight the wrong demons. Tell me, is this all just a game to you? A source of amusement? Or have you perhaps chosen this path out of necessity? <laughs> How interesting. Whatever it is you seek, I hope it was worth it. Assuming you even had a purpose to begin with. Oh, darling, your thoughts are yet unfledged. <laughs> but then so are you. Before we finally begin, let me ask you this. If you were given a choice between facing reality with all its hardships and being trapped in a pleasant, everlasting dream, what would you do? Well, then so it shall be. <laughs> What did she do to me? Am I dead? This doesn't exactly look like purgatory. Where the hell am I? Am I officially in- I think I saw something move in there. Probably just a cat, right? Anyone there? Um, hello? Thank goodness. I thought I would die here. Can you let me out of this bloody thing? Yeah, but it won't open without a key. Oh, that's just marvelous. This cuckoo bastard really meant it when he said he wanted to get rid of me. Can you get the key from him, pretty please? He should be somewhere near, working on this blasted machine of his. I don't get any of it. Where am I? And what's going on? You are new here, right? I have all the answers you need. And more importantly, I know how to get out of here. But you'll have to let me out first. Uh, fine. I'll get you out. Yes, thank you. This lunatic should be somewhere around here. 
You'll easily recognize him. Look for a huge machine made out of junk. But be careful. He's nuts. Um... Who are you? I've never seen you before! Did you come from the sky? Did our goddess finally recognize my talent? I... I don't think so. I just want the key that opens that cabinet. Can you give it to me? Then don't waste my precious time! I need to finish the helicopter as soon as possible! But I can't find a rudder. If I find you a rudder, will you give me the key? I'll think about it. I really need this rudder, though. I'll get going. Off you go! Hey, robot. Hey, robot. I'm not a robot. You are. I'm not a robot. You are. Okay. Now I get it. Looks like something out of a Slavic fit. I wouldn't risk going inside. That's the rudder that Weirdo needs for his helicopter. Now I need to figure out how to take it away from this creepy bird. Did you just call me creepy? Excuse me? What's with that look on your face? Scared much? Am I really talking to a bird right now? How rude. First of all, I'm not just a bird. I'm a raven, a proud and clever creature from the Corvidae family, so show some respect. It is not my true form, of course, but I lost my human image a long time ago. Okay, I uh, guess I am talking to birds now. I need this rudder that you're holding. Why do you need it? Oh, you're going to give it back to that uncultured fanatic, aren't you? I won't give it to you. Why don't you want to give the rudder to that crazy guy? He called my poetry superficial and pretentious. Can you imagine that? This is what he gets for butchering my art. You better tell him that. Are you sure you can't give me the rudder? Did I stutter? You're not getting it. Unless... Unless... What? Unless you bring me something French which smells funny. Do you have to talk in riddles? An artist's desires may be rather unconventional. Fine, I'll think of something. Is it silk or satin? I can't tell from here. What now? Did you finally get my rudder? No, but I found it. Oh, really? Well, where is it then? A huge raven over there has your rudder. Daddy? I knew that pretentious joke of a poet was going to try to interfere with my plan. What are you waiting for? Go get it! Fine. I'll see what I can do. Hey! Don't touch my food! You tried to steal my cheese! That's unacceptable! A 
I'm sorry, I, I didn't know it was yours. Can I please take it? Oh, he's sorry! You were going to let me starve! Why would you need it anyway? I need it to get the rudder for your helicopter. Really? How am I supposed to believe that? I had a vision. The Goddess Almighty told me to take that cheese from you, so that I can find the rudder. The Goddess spoke to you. Huh. Did you say anything about me? Oh yes, she told me that she's eagerly waiting for you to come to her side. You need to sacrifice the cheese, so you can finally be together. If that is the wish of the goddess, then by all means, Take that bloody cheese! Yes? Are you serious? What do you mean? Huh? I guess. Are you trying to bribe me with food? I'm not sure it's French, but it definitely smells like it. Fair enough. You know how to convince a starving artist. I'll give you that. Here, take the rudder. Thank you. But before you go, you must absolutely hear my new poem. Uh, okay. <clears throat> By the road so blue yet homely, Haunted by dark witches only, Where reigns Beatrice at night, On a bloodied throne sits tight. I have roamed this absurd land, touched by fire, your lonely friend. It's not finished. It's beautiful. And I mean it. Finally! I knew you were a man of culture. I wish you luck on your journey, my friend. What do you want? Is that what you need? Yes, exactly! But how did you get it? I couldn't find it anywhere! I got it from a huge talking raven who hates your guts. Whatever! The most important thing is that now I can finally finish my helicopter! I never thought I'd say it, but I'm very grateful. What can I do for you in return? Give me the key from that cabinet, and we're even. Fine, you can have it. Just please be careful with that charlatan. I certainly will. Good luck. Free at last. Nice to see that I was saved by a handsome young man. Together, we will be invincible. By the way, I'm Nikolai, but you can call me Nick. And you are? Vincent. All right, Vincent. Shall we start?
Maybe we should start with you telling me what the hell is going on here. You're right. Let's get out of here and I will answer all your questions. I'm sure you have plenty. Sure. Lead the way. Oh, hey robot. I'm an... I wouldn't risk going inside. Maybe this cable car will get me out of this junkyard. Who puts a station in the middle? What did the robber say to the clock? Let's get out of here. Now, will you tell me what's going on? I'll try to keep it short. You did something to upset Beatrice, didn't you? Well, the thing is that she's an ancient and powerful witch. So she sent you here, to a place where she throws away stuff she doesn't need, or people she can't stand. It exists in some kind of a weird loophole or whatever, so nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. Also, time works differently here, so nobody ever dies. At least not physically, if you know what I mean. So, people don't age here. It's just your soul that gets wrinkled, not your face. That's not too bad. What happened? Oh, it happens all the time. What do you think this bucket of rocks is here for? The thing is, this place brings out the worst in people. And when they give in to their vices, which we all have plenty of, they begin to transform in different ways. Yeah, I already talked to a bird. Is this why you have ghost legs? Bingo! Some of us get used to the changes, but I don't fancy becoming an actual ghost at all. And the worst part is that you can't predict these things. It just happens, or doesn't. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Because I haven't. Isn't that weird? Maybe they're sacrificing them to some pigeon god. But then, why haven't they all died out? Questions, questions. Uh, okay. By the way, what did you do to piss off Beatrice? Uh, I tried to steal some fancy necklace from her. Thought she was just a lonely crone with a fortune, not an actual witch. Why would you do that? I'm a thief. That's what I do. Well, you better not steal anything here. Don't forget what I told you about this world bringing out the worst in people. This is ridiculous. Come on, these are just sheep. How rude. Let's go, Philip. Um, you were saying something about getting out of here. Oh, right. I already told you that nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. But there is, in fact, a way to summon Beatrice and graciously ask her to let us both out. Keep talking. A long time ago, Beatrice left a spell to the first inhabitants of this world, which allowed them to summon her. But humans are greedy bastards, so everybody wanted to have it for themselves. In the end, they tore it into pieces, and each of them took one. Everyone thinks it's just a legend. But I know the spell exists. We just need to get all seven pieces. That's funny. I could have crossed this ravine without the cable car. I keep forgetting that I can fly, you know. No, I don't. All right, so what's the catch? There's no catch. You see, I'm not very well liked here for a completely unknown reason, given my charming nature. Also, my semi-ghost situation keeps getting worse. That's why I need your help. Are you in? I'm in. I knew you were the one to get me out of here. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Does this place have a name or something? Ah, sure. It's called Whateverland. Whatever what? Whateverland!